What's up, divas and divos? It's your girl, April. So, you guys already know what today is. It's Wednesday. Well, it's actually really Tuesday, uh, 11, 11 a.m., but you know what the deal is. I'm about to pop these in my mouth, okay? You guys know I take these. These are hydroxy cup um, weight loss pills. I have been taking these for years, and obviously they work if I've been taking them for years. So, I do stop taking them, like, in the wintertime, only because I sometimes get tired of spending $20 or $20, but I bought some from Fry's, which is Kroger's, whatever grocery store you want to call it. They had two bottles for 20 so it was buy one, get one free. They give me energy, so I like to take those um, and stuff, and it makes me lose weight a lot faster. Um, so I still am exercising, but I noticed that once I started taking my hydroxy cuts again, I started losing like a lot of weight. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but like the bottom part of me is still the same like I still have that belly area and stuff but all up here is where I lost like weight like you can tell like where my neck and stuff is at like I've lost the weight and I don't know maybe it changes maybe certain spots of your body goes at different times everybody's body is different so I don't really know you know I really can't tell you but I'm about to pop these pills and drink this water This ain't even water from the bottle. This is water from the sink. And I'm going to tell you something about Arizona. Now, when I tell people that I like tap water, I mean, like, a bitch do like tap water. But it all depends on what state you're in. You guys know I'm from Queens, New York City, okay? Born and raised in New York City, okay? In July, it'll be four years I've been living in Arizona. When I tell people New York City's tap water is the best, their faucet water. They just look at me like, are you crazy, bitch? No, I'm not. This water from Arizona, first of all, they don't even got no fucking water here. Their water is like recycled, somehow flown the fuck in. I clearly can't explain it, but trust and believe there's no beaches, there's no shit for no water. So their water ain't even their water. They like put all kind of shit in it and just to make it clean. And you can taste it. Like it just tastes like dirty fucking dishwater. Now, I don't know about dirty dishwater. I don't go around drinking dishwater, but I'm just saying that's the feeling that I'm getting when I'm drinking drinking this water. It just tastes really nasty. So you either got to buy bottled water, which I always do, or you get those big jugs with the water dispensers, which I have that too. But I ran out of both and that was so nasty. What's so crazy about it is Mumsy, she'll drink it. Like she don't even care. Like it don't even bother her. It don't matter how cold it is or whatever. It still tastes nasty. And really honestly, before we even began this, I really did want to hit my bomb. You know what I'm saying? Cause but we're going to do this sober. That's just what we're going to do today. We're going to do this sober. Um, so we're going to do it sober because I don't really feel like breaking up no weed. Ain't really nothing much going on. The same shit. I don't know. I think I've gotten so used to wearing these wraps on my head and, not, and putting a half wig on like I do have on here and just going about my business every day that I have been gotten, I have been gotten lazy with my beauty shit like you know what i'm saying like i'm starting to feel like i don't care but it's not even that i don't care you ever have those moments where you just don't feel like doing extra like listen that's the reason why i grew back my eyebrows because listen i got tired of doing my eyebrows and i got tired of going outside with half of an eyebrow so i decided to let them grow back in and as you can see look at them They looking real good. Like, okay, so now I am camouflaging the shit out of them because I haven't gotten the chance, the opportunity to get around to going to get them done. Let me tell you something. I'm about to just pull the tweezers out and just redo them myself like I've been doing for the past 20 some years. But I really wanted them to grow back in so that way I really wouldn't have to draw them on. I could just get them kind of like styled and go about my business, you know, and not have to draw so much. But a bitch is trying to save money, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always try to save money. You're just supposed to save money. And I hate I hate giving people my money that I could do it with myself. You know what I'm saying? Like so like that's like me paying somebody to make me a wig. And it's like, um, yeah, I can keep my money and make my own wig. The same thing goes with my eyebrows, my eyebrows. I can keep my money and do my own brows. But I just have not gotten my eyebrows professionally done in like over 20-something years. So I figured, let me try this threaded thing out that everybody's talking about. It's what, 15, 20 bucks, something like that. And maybe from there, I can just keep the upkeep myself and I have to go back because a bitch is not going to keep going back and letting you do my motherfucking eyebrows. That's one reason why... I don't have my fingernails done because for one, I'm just not high maintenance. 
I'm good with my fingernails the way they are. Plus, I have to make wigs, so it's kind of hard for me. It's really hard for me to sew with tips on. Now, I do have my own nails, um, which are from the Dollar Tree, and they're much shorter. And I will wear those. I will glue those on in a second, pop those babies on, if I'm feeling fancy. But I don't really never be feeling too fancy. How many times y'all done see me wear this motherfucking t-shirt? Um, I guarantee you uh, quite a few times because I have worn this in a Dollar Tree video. I have wore this in a hair video and an upcoming hair video and another Dollar Tree video and God knows a real talk and then this real talk. So, and this is like one of my favorite shirts. Now, trust and believe this is a really nice t-shirt. It ain't like no fucking Walmart t-shirt, but I did get it for $2 from Rude 21 because it was on clearance. But the feeling is nice. The texture, the way it's made is nice. So I really, I think it's because I like this color and because it says a size medium in it. A bitch that can't even fit a medium, but I'm, I'm wearing this only because of the way it's made. Now, trust and believe, if it was a regular medium that's fitted, it would not be in my closet, okay? I haven't really been up to much or nothing. Um, I am going to be picking out the winners for the blackout bands um, because it was four people. So I'm going to pick out those and I will um, contact you guys. If I freaking send you a message or a comment, can you please just fucking comment back, okay? Other than that, um, really there hasn't been anything going on with me. Um, yeah, I'm making wigs. I'm probably going to have another synthetic wig lot sale coming up either this weekend, this coming weekend, or the next coming weekend, okay? I have to get them together, so I'm going to try for this weekend. I'm going to try really hard to get it for this weekend. If not, then we'll have it for next weekend. Um, and other than that, there really hasn't been nothing going on. So if you have a Real Talk story that you are interested in me talking about on Real Talk, then you can go ahead and send me an email to mufflinsmylovers2012 at gmail.com. Please put in the subject subject line real talk and if you want to change the names of the people that you were referring to in the real talk then by all means please go ahead and do so and just let me know that you have changed the name other than that let's get on to this real talk because i think i talked your guys ears off enough Hi, April. My name is Kayla. It's okay for you to use my name. I'm hoping you can give me some advice on this problem I'm having at work. I work at a rest home for veterans. The girl we have working here on the overnight shift is lazy, keeps the bathrooms dirty, and doesn't do her fair share to ensure our residents have a safe, clean environment. When I come in on the day shift, I'm always having to pick up her slack. April, this is lately this girl has been complaining about me not doing my job. Well, just because she knows I have complained about her multiple times, now she's complaining about me. Luckily, my supervisor knows my worth ethic and knows she is not being truthful. I am thankful for that, but I am still upset and I want to know how to, ha I want to, know how to handle the situation because I feel like I need to have a conversation with her and stand up for myself and tell her not to try and fuck with me like that again. What should I do? Leave it alone or confront her? Thank you. So Kayla has a problem at work. Those are the worst ones when you have an issue at your workplace because first of all, we don't like getting up in the morning or in the evening to go to work in general. We don't like having to work for people in general so that one right there is a task and we got to kind of like feng shui woosa ourselves down into acting friendly or just neighborly whatever the fuck you want to call it so when we go to work where we are there just to make our bread and butter to survive it's more or less kind of like a very touchy subject like you either going to fuck with me at work or you're not. I would really prefer you not to because I don't really come here to make friends with anyone. However, some people are really, really petty. Now, here's the thing, Kayla. You know that your work ethics are good and clean. And you're not only knowing that, but your supervisor, your boss, and your other peers know that as well. And then we have this, um, this monger rat, this dirty monger rat, who doesn't clean up. Everyone notices this about her, your manager, your supervisor, they notice this about her. So it's really not much that you need to say. Even if she did go and complain about you, she only went to complain about you because she's being more or less petty. And we as women know, bitches be real motherfucking petty. Now, some people, like with myself, I might 
I might just confront a bitch. Like, why you go tell such and such that I don't be cleaning up when you know damn well that I clean up and I pick up after you. So what are you talking about? Why are you telling them that? You could be on some shit like that. But keep in mind, when you confront a person, you never know what you're going to get in return. That's just like going to somebody's house to fight them. You don't know on the other side of that door if they're going to come to the door with a bunch of family members, a bat, or a motherfucking pistol and whip your ass or kill you. So you really don't know what's on the other side of the door. And that goes to say the same thing with your job, with the place of employment. You know what I'm saying? She petty. You know what? Sometimes petty bitches don't even need to be addressed because they so petty, they're not even worth the time. And that's unfortunate, but... Petty bitches be the worst ones. And those are the bitches that it's like, you know what? I don't even have time for you. You're not even worth my time. And I'm not even about to stoop to your fucking level because you're not even worth it. Those are the petty bitches. And those be the ones where, you know what? They're not even worth giving them that amount of time to go and confront them. Because once you confront them, you're kind of like stooping down to their level. And I say you're stooping down to their level. It's because for one... They're petty. For two, you're not. For three, you have to go to them. And they, of course, are going to give you some type of attitude, some type of reaction. And you don't know, like I said, if this reaction, like the other side of the door, is going to be one that you're going to like or dis fucking like. And why even take the chance of getting yourself in trouble at work for some petty bitch that's not even worth it? Because I say this, and I'm sorry, but my nose is itching for my allergies. I say it like this. You don't even know if this bitch going to say something smart to you or not, if she going to say something you like or dislike, it's not even worth taking a chance because if you say something to this petty bitch, nine times out of 10, she petty like that for making up stories. She definitely going to say some smart shit back to you. And then what's she going to say? She might say something that might be petty and it might be harmful and it might piss you off and then it might not. But why even take the chance? Because if she says something petty, you might backlash at her and say some real off the wall shit, which in return might get you in trouble, which in return might get your ass fired, which in return that petty bitch is still at work and you out of a job. And then it's like, damn, this bitch was really not worth me getting that stressed out over and getting in trouble and then losing my job. So some people and some things, you just have to be the bigger person and walk the fuck away. I know like with me, sometimes it's really hard for me to walk away from any type of altercation because I like to get the last word in. And on top of that, I don't never like to let anybody know that they got one over on me. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. I'm not about to let you you fucking think that you got over or I'm not about to let you think that you motherfucking won. That's my, that's my issue. I'm always the one to get the last fucking word in. I don't give a fuck what it is. If I'm right or I'm wrong, I'm still the one that has to get the last word in. So with the type of person that I'm, I am, I would probably have to leave the situation alone because I know if this bitch say some smart shit to me, I have a problem with my hands a lot. Okay. And it's a big issue for me. Like when I say I have a problem with my hands, meaning not stealing, but I have a problem with my hands. Like I cannot keep them to myself some motherfucking times. Okay. And if you say some smart shit to me, you know, your mother always told you, keep your hands to yourself. April have that problem where she don't do that. So when I see a bitch and they get smart, I'd be so quick to smack a bitch. I have done that quite a few times in a public store, in a grocery store, and in a Walmart. So twice, okay? A couple of times, twice, or three times. So with me, I would feel like it's best to just leave her alone. However, it probably would eat at me, and I'm probably not the only person that it would eat at. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people like us, we don't like to leave confrontation alone. We just, I like to get my point across. And bitch, I'm about to let my point across to you. You're not about to go around here lying on me, talking some shit. But you know what? With petty bitches like that, especially if you have a lot at stake, like a job, and, and you need your job to pay your bills, to keep you, um, to keep a roof over your head, the lights on, and shit like that. So you got to keep all of that in the back of your head. Like, well, if I say something to this petty bitch, I ain't going to have nowhere to live. I ain't have no electricity. This is the shit that I be scared about a lot of times. This is why I say I be paranoid, because I think about shit like that. And, like, I... <laughs> Don't want to feel like if I say something to you, I'm not going to have a job. That part bothers me too. So, but with this, this one right here, um, 
I really honestly think like you should just leave it the fuck alone. Like you've already got your point across and your, your, your supervisor or your manager, they already know your work, your working ethics. They already know what type of person you are as well as your coworkers. So you know what? You've already proved yourself and you proved your worth. You don't have to keep proving yourself by confronting her because she's not worth your time. Sometimes we got to be the bigger person and we just got to walk away from it because bitches like that don't even be worth fucking arguing with. And I say that about a lot of things in life. Um, even with like old friends, sometimes you just got to let shit go and not even come, you know, come back and forth with them because sometimes an argument is just best left the fuck alone and try to avoid it. Like with me, I'm a very confrontational person. I'll argue with you. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it ain't that I don't give a fuck. It's just like this. Oh, you want to fucking argue? Well, you think you're right. And I'm about to tell you you're not. And I'm, we, we, we can have a good old argument and you can, you can voice your opinion and I'm going to do the same motherfucking thing. I'm going to voice my opinion, but you never know. She might be one of those bitches like me who going to voice her opinion and who don't give a fuck if she was wrong or right for telling on you, but you better not come confront me because I'm a let I'm a light your ass on fire. So she might be a bitch like that. And you know what? Those be the ones that ain't even worth wasting your time with. Not saying that I'm not worth wasting the time, but I kind of do know right from where right from wrong. I'm not a snitch. I don't go making up shit. So I wouldn't even be put in that predicament, but honestly, my opinion, you know, you have gotten where you've gotten because of the way you are. People know who you are and your work, work ethics because of how you are. You don't have to prove yourself anymore. If she want to be a derelict and a fucking snitch bitch and a fucking liar and everything else and a lazy fucking good for nothing, then just let her. Let's see how long she lasts at that company. Let her continue on with her foolish shenanigans and just sit back and watch. Some things are just left better alone. And don't feel like a chump or a punk because you walked away. Feel like you're the more mature one. Because we as women, sometimes we don't carry ourselves ladylike. And this would be the best time to show and prove how ladylike you are. And if another instance, as African American women, I don't know if you're African American who has written this email to me, but as African Americans, sometimes we are expected to act a fool. We are expected to come out of character. We are expected to act the fucked up. And we don't need to give them what they want or what they're looking for all the time about us. So they might expect you to show off. They might expect you to act the fucked up because this bitch done ran her mouth. Listen, don't give people what they're looking for all the time. You can show them that I'm a bigger person than that, and I got much more coof than this bitch. She want to go ahead and run and tell, I'm going to walk the fuck away and be the bigger person. That does not mean the fuck that I'm scared. That means that I'm more mature and I know a whole lot better, and I got more at stake than this fucking raggedy-ass bitch right here. Okay? That is my bottom line advice to you. So just walk away from the situation and don't pay that raggedy ass bitch no bit of attention because she's not even worth your motherfucking time. Okay, next one. That was not really a good tongue smack. Let me tell you, I did it in the car the other day to Mumsy. I was talking to her and I did it real loud. And she was like, oh my gosh, you just hurt my ear. I was like, well, my tongue smack. And I never could do it again. That was like the tongue smack of the ultimate tongue smacks, okay? That shit is only once in a lifetime. You get once in your lifetime to really tongue smack loud. And once you do it, it's over. So if you were a crowd of people, bitch, you better hope that they hear that shit, okay? Now, next. Hey, April, I'm writing you this real talk topic in hopes that you could give me some advice. Because if I take matters into my own hands with this situation, it can end up being a very ugly, sticky one. I will be changing the names in this email so that you don't have to do any extra work. Well, thank you, girlfriend. By the way, sorry if this email comes out to be too long. Here's the situation. Where did I go? Oh, here's the situation. I have a friend named Dame who I feel in a way envies me and that the attention that I get. Recently, I met a boy who was 21 years old named Mar. And he's a very attractive guy. He's in college working full time, but I have a feeling he could be a bad, a tad bit hoish. I'm 19 years old and my friend Dame is 18, just so you know. Recently, my friend went on a college visit and the guy I've been talking to for some time turned out to be Dame's tour guide. Okay. So in the process of the tour, 
They must have exchanged numbers and began texting and talking afterwards. When the tour was over, my friend called me and told me that he met a guy named Mar. So I described the guy's appearance and to my friend, and it turned out to be him, Mar. So I kindly asked my friend Dame to cut communication with him because at the end of the day, that's my man. And I would do the same if the situation was flipped. Well, after I confronted my friend Dame, I said something to Mar, my boyfriend, and he made it seem as if he was only giving my friend advice on things he might go through in college, which was cool. Okay. Now let's fast forward. I began to distance myself from Dame due to him acting different. And would you believe that this nigga posted a pic of him and my dude, okay, my dude that I was talking to. I was so heated and I felt betrayed. So I just knew I was going to pull a few stunts and get back at him. I decided to hack into Dame's Snapchat, Instagram, and even his photo vault where all of his photos go to. And I've been keeping tabs on him. He's a DL boy and there's pictures of him kissing Mar and other scandalous videos. Just some real juicy shit. His mother is very into their religion and is anti-gays. But if she's seen these pictures that I've gotten a hold of, his life would be over. I'm thinking about showing her what's up with her son and what her son been up to from an anonymous phone number. Am I wrong? I feel as though payback is due because betraying a friend over a nigga is never the route you should take. As for Mar, the dude I was talking to, he still hits me up and says he wants to be with me and wants me, but both of them are dead to me at this point. P.S. I know if I don't care anymore, I could just let it go, but I'm not. I'm. I'm. But no, I'm too petty to be. Wait. Okay. I had to read this over. No. I know if I don't care, I could let it go. But no, I'm too petty to let a bitch slide with some sneaky shit. So I got to do something. Okay, so basically, if you guys know, this whole email is about guys. They're gay, okay? So in case you guys know. So he didn't even name himself, all right? Well, so we're going to call him... Colin. So Colin is emailing me because Colin's best friend Dame went on a college tour. Come to find out, Dame, which is Colin's BFF, you know, seen this dude that gave the tour. The dude that gave the tour is Colin's boyfriend. You know, he been fucking with him. Colin and told his best friend, Dame, stay away from him because that's my man, whatever, whatever. Of course, you should get the point from that. Well, his BFF been acting real funny to him lately. Dame been acting real funny to Colin, okay, after he done came back from this college tour. And he done, and Colin had found pictures of his best friend and his so-called man posted up on social media. So, what did Colin do since he didn't see these pictures on social media and he didn't already told his best friend Dame to stay the fuck away from my man, basically. He done hacked into his best friend's Instagram, Snapchat, and his picture vault and is about ready to send his best friend's mother the pictures of her son on a DL because he's on a DL about being gay. And should he do that? No, you should not fucking do that, Colin. You should not do that, okay? I hope I'm not confusing you guys. You know it's fucking petty. Why would you do that? Listen, let me tell you something. I don't like petty shit neither. I don't like when bitches do shit to me. But you know what? That teaches me a life lesson. If a bitch can do some grimy shit to you, you don't have to stoop to their level. I just said this. You don't have to stoop to their level and do some grimy shit back to them. You don't have to be like that. What you need to do is distance your motherfucking self from them and just keep it going and keep it pushing and mind your business and worry about what the fuck you be doing. You don't got to be on no petty shit and do some shit to him. Him to let his mother see his DL pictures because regardless of what he did to you that's still fucking wrong what you did and this what we call karma okay what goes around comes back around so okay that was your best friend and he did some grimy shit to you he started fucking with somebody that you liked and that you was fucking with even though you already told him and he still did the shit and then he went so bold as to post pictures of 
them two on social media. That's a bold move. That's not cool. You don't do no shit like that. But you know what? That's people for you. That's when you realize you have to have like an epiphany. I think that's the right word. If it ain't, then whatever. You know what I'm saying? But you have to think to yourself, you know what? This bitch ain't even worth being friends with. You know what? I'm not even going to stoop to their level and do some fuck shit to them because I wouldn't like that shit done to me. If I had secret pictures about what the fuck did I do in my secret life, do you really think that I would want somebody fucking posting the shit the fuck up? Not saying I got secret pictures, but we all have pictures that we don't want people to see and we don't want sheep leaked the fuck out. Like, I'm not going to sit here on YouTube and tell y'all all my deepest secrets. I don't think that's your motherfucking business to know because that's why it's called the motherfucking secret. And so what if he's on a DL and so what if he did what he did? It's not really so what, but here's the thing. You can be petty to the bitch if you want to, but at the end of the day, you're going to be the one that's looking stupid, okay? Because you were so petty to Dame. Let Dame go ahead and figure this shit out on his own because in the long run, he going to know he, he missed out on a good-ass friend, okay? Petty bitch in all. Be a petty bitch, Colin. Go ahead and be a petty bitch, but you know what? Be a petty bitch on a whole different kind of fucking level. There's levels to being petty. Like, there's levels to that shit, all right? There's levels to a lot of shit, and we could be on some real petty bullshit and get yourself a new group of friends and be taking pictures in social media with them and enjoying your life. And when this motherfucking bitch call you, when Dame call your ass, you don't have time for that shit, okay? You don't have time for that shit, and you can still throw shade without throwing some real fuckery shade. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, go on social media and just say, bitches is real fucking petty and grimy. That's why my circle is this small. And you could direct that shit to them, or you can indirect it to them. But I'm pretty sure that he'll get the fucking point, because I have already done that myself. But you don't have to dig deep. And I say dig deep, don't dig deep, because for one, you think that you hurting your best friend by showing his DL pictures to his mom and shit like that. You might be hurting him, but you also hurting his mom. And she didn't do nothing to you to deserve that shit. She don't deserve that shit. So don't bring his mother in the middle of it and hurt her. She a really religious woman. Do you know? I'm not overly religious. Um, There are things that I believe in. There are things that I don't believe in. But I'm pretty sure somebody was to show something to me or one of my kids that I really didn't approve of, it would break my heart. And you don't know what breaking somebody's heart could do to them in general. You don't know if that shit that you might show her might send her into a heart attack or whatever. You don't really know. So... Don't put his mother involved in this shit. Keep his mother out of it because she's not the one that was doing the trifling shit to you. So she doesn't deserve this. And if you know that lady, then don't stoop to that level and do some grimy shit. Because then you're going to be known as the motherfucking grimy bitch. All right? So don't stoop to that level. But here's the thing. You need to learn from this point on how to choose your friends. You choose your friends real motherfucking wisely. That's why, like I say all the fucking time, my circle is like a motherfucking dot. I don't fuck with bitches like that, okay? I have but a couple of friends. My best friend out here, which is Rebecca, and then my good friend, my other friend that y'all always know that I talk about, Miss Shay Love. Them two. Those is the only two bitches that I fucks with, okay? And I do have my other friend, Nicole, out here, but I don't even fuck with her like that no more because I don't like shit. I I just don't like shady shit. If I feel like you acting shady towards me, then I just cut you the fuck off and I don't fuck with you no more. But you know what I'm saying? Like I'll tell y'all all the time, my fucking friendship circle is a dot. I have two motherfucking friends, maybe even three because my daughter Tati, she is my friend too. But other than that, and I have, I have more than three friends <clears throat> because I consider, well, I consider all of you guys, my friends and my family, but physical that are like near me, them two are the bitches. Three bitches that I fucks with, I hang with on a daily basis. But you know what? You have to learn. I have learned a lot of life lessons from dealing with friendships. You know, some have hurt me to the point where I couldn't believe that that should happen. Some of them, I was just like, fuck you, whatever, bitch. You really wasn't worth my time. No, I already knew you was a grimy bitch. But in the end, I didn't even throw that much shade at them. I didn't do nothing to really get back at them because I know the type of person I am. And I wouldn't want that shit happening to me. And I always believe in karma. What goes around comes back the fuck around all the time. You might, that shit might not come back the fuck around when you want it to, but that shit will eventually come the fuck back around. And that bitch or that nigga gonna suffer too. So don't put yourself out there like that and feel like you have to seek revenge because the bigger bitch is the bitch that walks the fuck away. So Colin, fuck that bitch. Don't worry about her or him or who the fuck ever. Dame, your friend, your bestie. Well, you know what? Sorry about that. That was another doctor's appointment for my freaking knee. Okay. Um, 
because I have to go in for my knee um, to get my shot. But like I was saying, sometimes we have to learn a lesson and just let bygones be bygones and let petty bitches just be fucking petty bitches and leave them the fuck alone. That's sometimes the best life lesson because we come across many friends and we feel like they are friends. We love them, yada, yada, yada. They cool. And then, you know, you figure out and you find out down the road that, oh, okay, this bitch is petty and she ain't even worth my motherfucking time. So leave that petty bitch alone. Let her figure out her shit. She gonna have karma because it goes around, comes back the fuck around. And don't worry about the shit no more. Just leave it alone. But don't stoop down and don't be that grimy bitch. That's just my motherfucking opinion. My opinion on the take. So, yes, bitches. Okay, I'm only gonna do two real talks because I think I've talked you guys' ears off enough today. And plus, I gotta get ready to go get my boo from school, which is Mumsy Boo. But I love you guys and I will see you soon. I got some videos that I need to edit today so make sure you check it out. And yes, um, other than that, stay diva and delicious. She want a bad man to come and be the oldest. You want murder me, eh, 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 eh.